Welcome brothers and sisters and we've come to chapter 5 in the Chronicles of the Children of Jaranak and I hope uh, you will get something out of this chapter today and the head the headline is uh, Hajanak's mission fulfilled. So let us begin with a prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time that we can come together and we can study scripture of the, the chronicles of the children of Aranak. And we ask that you will be with us as we read and that we will get something out of it and something from you, God. And I say these things in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. So chapter 5, Hadjanak's mission fulfilled. Now when Hadjanak had finished speaking unto the people, he set them the charge to build the ships. And all this was done through the prophet's mouthpiece, Hadjanak. Now many years passed, and the ships had been completed, and the people were ready to enter the ships and sail across the sea to the land of the Lord had promised them. Now behold, the people had grown strong in spirit and was murmuring and complaining or fighting or any manner of wickedness for the space of five years. And the people were one God. Now the time came for the people to enter into the ship, but before they did, Shadonat and Hajanat called all of the people together on the shore, seashore. Sharonat and Hajanat knew the Lord, and they received revelation from the Lord. And they were commanded to tell all the people the revelation that had, they had received at this time. Hajanat grew ill with a mighty sickness, and the sickness took away the use of his legs and the use of his arms. And so it was that it because very diff it became very difficult for Hajanat to serve his brother and prophet. And because of this, Sharonat had not spoken to the people for two years. Now he gave a mighty spirit to comfort Had Hajanak, even the very same spirit that sits to the left of the Father. And his spirit manifests itself unto Hajanak. And this spirit was the Holy Spirit. And he gave strength to Hajanak and bore him up so that he might tell the people of the revelation that he had received. Now Hajanak spoke to the people saying, The time has come to take your great journey. The ships are built and the stores are full. And the Lord has indeed blessed our people, for it is this it is his will that has led us here and helped us build this ship. Now many brothers and sisters, the Lord wished you to know the revelation he has given to the prophets. Sharonat, but I say this. It is not only through the power of faith of my heart that I am able to stand here today. For I will soon meet the Saviour and he will welcome me into the kingdom for ever and ever. The Lord has promised through revelation that if we, his people, are faithful and obedient, that we shall become one with him. Now, because I am dying, Sharon want, went to the Lord in prayer and asked if he might be able to be made whole so that he might speak unto the, unto my, by his own mouth. And the Lord has indeed blessed the prophet Sharon 
and when he awoke from his sleep, this very morning his tongue was made whole and he could speak. But I say unto you that I know that it's only through his faithfulness and obedience that the great blessing was given unto him. Now when Hajinat had finished speaking to the people, his heart grew heavy and sad, for he knew that this would be the last time that he would speak unto his people. And Shadonat was touched by the Spirit, and he knew through he knew the thoughts of Jaranak's heart and mind, and Sharanak spoke to his people for the first time, and his voice was like of his father, and the people were amazed, and they stood as if they their tongues were bound. And Hajanak said to the people, Listen to my brother, and Sharanat told the people with the power of the Lord in his own voice, I have prayed unto the Lord, and he has delivered me from my bondage, and he has loosened my tongue, so that I might testify of this greatness, as because I prayed with the sincere heart, having faith, the Lord God only loosened my tongue, but he also has blessed me with the desire of my heart. And so it was that Sharonat was about to tell the people what the Lord blessed him with. The heavens opened. And out of the heavens came a man, unlike the man they had seen before, and behold, he was clothed in white and shone with great brightness. And he stood in the midst of them and said, I am he who will bleed for you at my first coming. And I am he who will be born to a virgin pure and clean. And I am he who is the only begotten son of the Father, I am whom the prophets testify of. I am the Saviour, the very Christ, and the servant Sharonak. I bless you with the desire of your heart, for I know your desires, and I bless you that you will never taste death, but more than this, you shall come to me two times in the flesh, once at my birth, where you shall bring gold to my bedside, and second, when you shall meet me on the Mount of Olives, when I shall come the second time and final time. And unto Hajina I say this, that on the, the morrow you shall be with me in my kingdom, but I give you Unto your seed, Hajana, a blessing that it will be through them that the record of my people will be given to the servants in the days before my second coming. Now I, Jaranak, do testify that I am the descendant of Hajana, and my son, Rayanak, has also been promised through the revelation that he will not taste death until he is given this record of the people to the servants of the Lord in the days before the second coming. It's a very short chapter there and uh, we see that the people have finished building the ships and they they st put stores in there. But interesting there, Jesus came to the, to the, to Shadonat and Jaranat and and said that that Sharonat would not taste death, but he would see him at his birth. And we can under when we read the Bible, we we'll read about the three kings. So he must have been one of the three kings that came and gave him gold. So that's interesting. And uh, yep, we just say that uh, keep on your faith and keep praying us and. Uh, 
Sharon asked that he could be the mouthpiece and, and, and God blessed him that he could do that. So, until next time, uh, I will read some more, which is, which is chapter six, Journey to the Sacred Island. So that's when the ship set sail. So let's finish up with prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you that we've got the scriptures to read and that we've learned to do today that God came to Sharonak. Jesus, the son, came to Jaranak and uh, gave him blessings and uh, said that he would meet him two times. And the first time is when he, he was born. And he was one of the kings that gave the gift of gold. So we thank you for that. Uh, we bless everybody in the uh, the fellowship. And we, we thank the Restored Brands for sharing the scriptures with us. And, and that I can have them to read. And we, uh, we look forward to their new edition, which will help say the name. So uh, put a blessing on Matthew Gill and his church and his family. And we pray for him as well with his men, Meniere's disease, which uh, sort of cripples him and makes him fall and uh, he, he has bumps and bruises. And we just pray that you can take that away from him, God. Heal him and help him. And I say these things in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shalom, brothers and sisters, and goodbye.